Instruction number three on the Fantasy Creature Project is to add anything that you want behind you. So if you want to have a tail or wings or something like that, something that's actually not going to be a part of your person whenever we're editing the person. We're also then going to do anything that we want to do to the background layer at this time. So first you're going to make sure you're on your background layer. We don't want this to go in the folder. So click on your background layer and then place, file place embedded if you're in Photoshop, file open and place if you're in Photo P. In this case I have wings. Um, they saved as a web P. If you have a web P that will open fine in Photo P, strangely, but it won't open in Photoshop 2018 or lower. So in that case you may have to convert it. If you have to convert, just simply type in WebP to JPG Converter Online, upload it, and then download it, and you're good. I've already done that here, so here's my picture of my wings. Go ahead and size those down however you want them, holding the shift whenever you are resizing. And then get them in the position that you want them in. So let's say that I want that there. Now, at this point, they're going to come in as a smart object, and I do need to go ahead and remove the background. So again... If you want to use your select subject or you want to use your magic cut if you're in the other program, no problem. Click the appropriate place and then get your selection made. We won't watch me do this entire process here. I'm going to just let it be. Uh, but let me turn this off here for just a moment. So I'm going to go into select a mask. We'll say this is fine for now and output to a layer mask. Now at this point, you're going to need to touch this up because there may be things that are not great. For instance, I have cords hanging off of these wings and they're a costume, so there's some things there that need to go away. So quickly I would go through and fix those um, areas and paint those out. Oops, I'm in the wrong tool. Paint those out like so. Now those are the easy ones because we can paint them on the layer mask. The problem is some of these others cannot be painted out. They're going to have to use the retouch tools, which is fine because that's part of this project, right? Unfortunately, to use the retouch tool, for instance, if I want to use spot healing, I cannot do it on this layer because this layer is a smart object and you cannot use many of the retouch tools on a smart object. So we're going to need to rasterize this layer and that's okay. Just understand that if there's anything that you need to do smart, do it first. Okay. So at this point, I'm going to right-click rasterize my layer. This is the same process in Photo P as well. And now I can add in whatever I need to do. Now, I don't need to do it everywhere, just places that are going to interfere. So we can see here I've got an area right here that doesn't need to be. I'm going to zoom up. I could use my patch tool. I could use my spot healing. It's really going to be up to you as to what you want to do. I think I'm going to use my patch. It's destructive. I'm going to click on the butterfly layer. Come down here and select this area and then patch it. And I'll just patch it from this area right next to it, like so. Not too bad. I'll do this process again with this little section. I'll patch from over here. Not too bad. And then I had a little leftover piece, so we'll just kind of fix it. Looks pretty good. And then we've got kind of a little edge blue piece here that doesn't look so hot, so we'll fix that there. And I could spend a little more time here, but for the sake of time, I'm not going to. Um, if you start to have smears, remember in those cases, you would need to go take your clone stamp. So here I would take my clone stamp, hold down Alt and click to define the source. Again, I'm doing this destructively, um, but sometimes you just have to. Okay, let's say that's good enough for now. All right, anything else that you need to do to the thing behind you or to your background layer you need to do now? So while you're still in here, go ahead and think about the colors that you want. So for instance, let's look at the background alone. If I'm good with this color, fine. If I'm not, I need to now go ahead and make some adjustments. Like, so I might do a curves adjustment or an exposure adjustment and make this where it's darker and scarier. Okay, so there we go. All right, so I say I've got that. I can just leave it here. It's right above the background, so it's not hurting anything. Then I need to look at my wings. Now I know I'm going to go kind of a fairy route and go with some greens and yellows for my person. So I'm going to change the color of the wings as well and I'll need to clip it in. So I'll take hue saturation adjustment layer, right click and clip it into this one so it will only affect my wings. And then I can go through here and decide what colors. I'm going to go with kind of a yellow, but I'm going to go faded. So I'm going to pull it back and I'm going to pull the lightness down so they're a little bit dark as well. Okay, and then of course if you wanted to, you could go to your wings layer, if you're doing wings, and modify the opacity a little bit, just because wings probably would be a little bit see-through, right? Or, 
I could modify the blending mode, which is also something you're supposed to demonstrate you know how to do in this lesson. So if you modify the blending mode, notice now we can indeed already see through those. I just then have to decide, huh, definitely not that one, which ones I could use for the effect that I want. So, well, definitely not that. So it looks like screen works pretty well for this one. Um, yeah, the rest of these are not going to work. Okay. Or like I said, you can pull back your opacity. Um, there's also some like linear light. Um, some of those probably would be interesting. Uh, you can kind of look and see if any of those would do what you want. It really depends on the color of the item that you're dealing with. Okay. I'm going with screen. Let's put my person in front. I feel like that looks good. Again, at this point in time, I can still adjust this darkness and so forth with my um, hue saturation layer. Um, but anyway, that's basically it. So now I have added anything that I want behind me. I rasterized it so I can do some non-destructive tasks. I've got my colors where I want them and my levels where I want them. And now we'll be ready to work on our actual creature.